housewarming gift. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Culture where flavor and design collide. Today I want to share with you a very cute idea to make a housewarming gift, okay? In this case, I bought uh, some measuring cups, some measuring spoons, um, conversion chart, kitchen towel, and a baking tray and a rolling pin to make a little gift for someone very, very special. And also, I'm going to make a key change, okay? So it's going to be a cookie key change that is going to be super, super cute because it's going to be like a cookie, but then a key change. It's like two in one, okay? And um, I hope that you will enjoy this idea that is super, super creative. And let's get started. For these cookies, you're going to use this kind of small circle cookie cutter and then you are going to cut your cookies as you see in this video. Please click the link above to see my recipe. When you are going to cut these little circles, you need to transfer your cookies to your baking sheet and then you will do the little holes on the top. See, this key is a little bit tricky, so we are going to outline all the borders so our icing doesn't spill out everywhere, okay? So this is the traditional method to decorate cookies. Start outlining the center of the top of the key, like the little hole, and then we are going to continue to outline in all the edges of this little key. Then we're gonna flood it with natural color icing. I didn't put any color in this icing because I'm going to do a different technique that it doesn't require to be all white and bright. is completely flawed we are going to let it dry completely to make the next step and also you will do the same thing with this little cutie this little owl we're gonna do the same technique okay So the same thing, we're going to flood it with icing and we're going to let it dry. Okay, I have already my keys and owls and I'm going to let them dry and then we're going to continue with the other step. For that step we're going to need medium consistency icing in natural color. Now that our cookies are completely dry we're ready to do the next step. Try to make like an engraving effect on the cookies and I'm going to use white natural. Okay, I'm going to use natural icing in medium consistency and a decorating tip number 1.5 
we're gonna do the same thing with the little key. Now that our cookies are completely dry, we're gonna put the spray on them. Now we just need to let them dry and then we're gonna put it in a little ribbon. Bye-bye.